So this is Professor Cummings and I have not posted a video in a few weeks and wanted to give you guys an update as to what's going on. Uh, I have been putting together a resource for my students and those that follow me on social media known as the engineersreference.com. This logo has been floating around for a bit. Uh, hold on for a second and I will actually give you a walkthrough of this new website that I hope you will be able to enjoy and use as your reference. So this is a project that I've been working on for a, a bit of time and I wanted to put this together so that not only my students at, at university, as but my uh, people who follow me on social media, you know, the Google Plus people, the Twitter people, the, the YouTube people, can all get to see uh, what exactly I've been working on. And it's actually a resource that I've put together that is really just for people in, you know, engineering, manufacturing backgrounds, that they can get together and actually be able to uh, draw upon any resources to help them out in a pinch. It's meant to be a reference. It, it's really the way I designed it. It's, it's meant to be a reference, something that a student could look up, grab this piece of information, and run with it to solve a problem very quickly. If there's something you don't understand, if there's a class that you, you may not be in anymore, that you may have forgotten some things, you can come to the engineer's reference and, and find it out. If there is any type of downloads that I may have had, any slides that I may have given you that you didn't have or that if you're on social media that you never had access to, it'll be here on the engineer's reference. So it is really meant to be kind of a toolbox to people who have either a manufacturing or an engineering uh, background or bend that they can go in and, and look up little things that they can see. So here we are on the landing page. So, and then there's a registration button that just goes to a contact sheet. You know, if you want to stay up to date, uh, you can sit, uh, fill this out. You know, give me any feedback. Go to the re register button and, and fill that out. So you come down here, and here's the list of the subjects. You know, so these are all hyperlinked. You know, and you can break it down by systems, things like Lean Six Sigma, Quality Control, GDNT. I can, those are all considered systems or you can look at them as manufacturing topics, you know, and different things that are posted as manufacturing. And then you've got design. And again, there is some overlap. You'll notice that materials popped up here a couple of times. GD&T pops up, in, I think, in every one. Or you've got the whole general take. And again, everything is still under, uh, it's not under construction, but I am going to be adding to this site, you know, so, so as more information comes out, I will be adding to it. So you click on any one of these. All right, and there's some testimonials. You click on any one of these and there should be information for you that's based in some YouTube videos. You go back to the home page. We got a section here, kinematics, dynamics. It's a little explanation, so kinematics and dynamics. Here we have strength of materials. And again, there's all sorts of uh, downloads. So if you were on my YouTube page, you wouldn't have access to these things. And if you're in any of my classes, these would actually be helpful to you. So back to the home page. Again, that's where all of our links, they go to there. So this is one of the big differences between if you're just following me on my YouTube page or Google Plus. You know, your Google Plus page, you get access to the videos, but you, know, you only get them as I post them to you. You go to YouTube, you get access to the video, but you know, they're not necessarily consolidated and you have no access to downloads. And if you're in my classes, you know, you might need to come in and refresh your memory on something. Or right, if you're not in one of my classes, then you know, you definitely would have something that you can draw back on. And this is just an introduction video on the skills gap, the importance of understanding manufacturing technologies uh, in today's world. I also have here an engineer's blog that I'm going to be updating. So I'm going to be talking about mostly manufacturing as well as engineering topics, but sort of where they, they merge together like Industry 4.0, IOT, or IOT, the Industrial Internet of Things. So I'll be updating that regularly. 
there's an about us and the contact us page so there's a couple of ways to get in this and this is an opportunity for you to give me any type of feedback you can fill this out and let me know because I, I am trying to give this to people who might be wanting to refresh their memories on things or even just learn a new topic that they may have never had a chance to now other resources here you know if you're doing any type of research you know there's a few downloads some templates there's an entire video available that is not on YouTube on citations and references and here you have uh, well it's for senior design but you know citations uh, report components report templates some of the manufacturing projects that we're working on uh, design for manufacturing and assembly kinematics and dynamic report templates so this is pretty much it and I will be adding to it I mean I will be updating the information I will be putting up new videos some of the videos I'll put up here will be exclusively on this channel uh, again all the downloads will be exclusively on this channel and it is free um, I you know I do want this as a reference for engineers and manufacturing people you know if you can update me or give me feedback let me know what you've taken interest in and what you want to see I'd appreciate it it'll help this page grow and it'll keep me free you know from any other outside it gives me a little more control so I'm not you know dedicated to either the blackboard or to YouTube I can actually uh, post this and keep it as its own autonomous site uh, load what I need to you know and get direct feedback from people and I, there are some certain features that I would like to add along with this blog I, I do want to have you know some sort of discussion board I'm thinking about adding to the site um, and you know maybe a few other things that I might want to try and, and, and put on here so that people can can build an entire engineering manufacturing community so that's what I've been up to and you know I'm glad that you guys have been following me I'm up to about 2,000 subscribers at this point uh, looks like late August August 25th uh, glad to that you guys have stuck around and just come back visit the site and let me know what you think so if that video was helpful to you at all go ahead and subscribe to my channel I do videos on manufacturing as well as different engineering topics please share the video to anyone you think might be able to benefit from it so you can subscribe to me on YouTube. You can also follow me on Twitter where I go through a lot of different uh, engineering and manufacturing topics up to date. Talking about the skills gap and in Industry 4.0 or the fourth industrial revolution. You can also follow me on Google Plus. I have two fairly active communities. One is uh, Manufacturing Skills and Education where I talk about obviously manufacturing and manufacturing skills, manufacturing technology and I try to help people showcase their companies on that channel and then there's the engineers reference where I talk about general engineering activity uh, a lot on automation a lot on just like new technologies and different types of you know math applications and different things that engineering goes through so another pretty active community and you know anytime you see my little logo the infinity double infinity you can know that I've gotten my presence there uh, again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next video.